Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com with a full case of 2018 Topps Gold Label Baseball. Pick your team number three. Here are the folks here going for the gold. That card is gold. <laughs> it's a, it's an old Jaspies. And so you had to be there. Scott McNulty, Yankees, Phillies, double last spot mojo. He's got a lot of other teams too. So thanks to him and thanks to everyone. Take, takes a village to do a case break. So thanks everybody for getting into the action. Every single order counts. All right. Good luck, folks. Oh God! Oh, they're all over the place. Come on, Joe! What a mess! All right, there we go. All right, so we've got four, eight, twelve, sixteen. Good luck, everyone. One frame autograph per box, on average. Yeah, my Dodgers lost the World Series. I know you're thinking, is he going to talk about that? Or, yeah, they lost two years in a row. It's brutal, ladies and gentlemen. But I'm holding up okay. I think last year was more brutal than this year, to be honest with you. This year, there was moments where I didn't think the Dodgers were even going to make it to the playoffs. But I don't know where you. I mean, you got to retool and try to get back into it. There's Trey Mancini to 150. Will the Dodgers re-sign Manny Machado? I don't know. I would be. I, I would think that they would be more inclined to sign Bryce Harper. But <laughs> Arthur's like old news. He's ready to move on. I know. Your season was over a month before mine. Arthur's been looking forward to baseball <laughs> to another to a new season ages ago. All right, Arthur's a Diamondbacks fan, of course. There's Francisco Mejia. I think in the video that we watched to preview this break, the first frame was Francisco Mejia. Anyhow, the hot stove will be heating up, Arthur and everyone and baseball fans. So we'll see. We'll see what happens in the uh, off season. Harper's a Philly. I mean, I don't know. Where where is he gonna? Yeah, where is he gonna? Where is he gonna go? Philadelphia. Machado's probably a Yankee, right? It makes sense. Didi Gregorius is a free agent. Poor Didi Gregorius, free agent, and he's gonna have to get Tommy John surgery, so he's gonna miss out on a big payday. Um, and so now there's a hole at shortstop. Guess what? Manny Machado wants to play shortstop. I think the Yankees signed Manny Machado. And then we see what – I thought that was Bryce Harper for a second. That's Steven Strasburg. And then we'll see what happens to Bryce Harper. I'm, we're he I'm hearing a lot of rumors. Phillies? Cubs? Cardinals? Dodgers? You don't think Machado becomes a Yankee? I think it makes a little – makes a lot of sense, I think. There's the serial numbered card right there. That's out of 25. Nice. Jackie Robinson. That'll go to Scott McNulty and the Dodgers. The Cubs get Bryce Harper. And there's Harrison Darth Bader.
And that will go to the Cardinals. That'll be for Eric Coyle. Coyle saying, you think it makes sense, but the Yankees have been pretty decent at keeping their standards. What, what do you think about Manny Machado you think they won't like? I think as long as Manny Machado can hit 30 home runs, hit 290, 300. Gold glove, gold glove shortstop. I don't think they're going to turn that down. Think a little attitude issue is gonna gonna hold back the Yankees? I'll bet they think they can fix it. A Rod had a had maybe some slight attitude issues too, right? They made A Rod work. Second autograph was Harrison Bader. I feel like it's weird with Manny Machado. It just says no hustle. I feel like he does hustle. He just doesn't hustle to first. It's such a weird thing. Watch him play. Like, watch him in the field. He's going after ball. He always hustles in the field. Good glove. You know, he'll stretch a nice double, too. But for whatever reason, down to first, nope. Out of 50, there's Walker Bueller. What a great postseason for him. And there's Kershaw. He has until tomorrow night. Tomorrow night to figure out what he's going to do with his uh, opt-out, opt-in. David No also echoing that, that rumor has that Yankees have lost interest in Machado because of his antics. I mean, that could just be bluster too, right? What if they're just saying that to try to lower the price of Machado? That's what I would do too. There's Paul Goldschmidt for Arthur and the Diamondbacks. Arthur, we did it! Arthur's been searching for a Paul Goldschmidt and a case break for, I think, years now. It's probably, probably has been at least two years. There we go. We finally did it. On card auto in a nice gold frame from a nice product, Topps Gold Label Baseball. You're not dreaming, Arthur. This is really happening. Paul Goldschmidt. Oh, was this your first try in Topps Gold Label? <laughs> Isn't that how it goes sometimes? You bust your butt trying to trying to search for him in other products. Never appears. First try in Gold Label Baseball. Boom, there he is. Coyle saying... Wouldn't be surprised if the Cardinals hop in on Machado. Or aren't the Cardinals another kind of organization that, that prides themselves on, on the right way to play baseball? Wouldn't they pass on Machado too? Oh, looks like a, some sort of relic right there. You know what, though? If I'm a GM, I, I'd keep saying that. I'd keep leaking out that information, too. Try to drive down the price of Machado. Okay, attitude and issue. Maybe he doesn't get paid $350 million over 10 years or whatever. Nine years. Seven to, nine, seven to ten years. But at a slightly cheaper price, I'm sure Machado could work for a lot of teams. I'm sure they can eat the attitude, right? There's out of 50 Javier Baez. I keep thinking that that's a parallel with the black on the on the back there. It's a little confusing. And the relic behind Sandberg is 14 out of 75 Legends relic, Reggie Jackson. Angels edition. That'll be for the Angels, Brian Lutz with the Angels. So then who's going to pay him then? You think nothing will change what he want what he, well what he wants is different what he wants is different from what he can actually get and we'll top load all those numbered cards before they go out of course as always all right behind Don Mattingling is Luis Castillo for the Reds
Yeah, sure, TJ. Ah, so there you go. So Eric saying, hey, Eric Hoyle saying, hey, that's why it wouldn't shock me if he stays with the Dodgers because they throw money at anybody. Not, not this, not this ownership group. You're welcome, TJ. <laughs> not the, not the new front office. Those guys don't want to spend money. If you look at the la the 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 track record from the new uh, the new front office, not a lot of free agent money being spent. And then what what do you do with Corey Seager? Corey Seager's coming back. He plays shortstop. So I don't know. I th I think that'll be one. Uh, I think that'll be really really interesting to see to see where Machado ends up. Harper too. I think it's I think it's going to be a good. Uh, I think it's going to be a good. I think it's going to be a great off season. Shohei Otani to seventy five. I think last year's hot stove wasn't very hot, right? You guys remember last year? Free agents weren't being signed. Like when did when did J D Martinez get signed? Really late. But I think this year's hot stove is gonna be is gonna be hot, hot, hot. Which will be good. Last year was kind of boring. <laughs> That's right, TJ. Cody's like, hey, Machado to to, to TJ's Tulsa Drillers. He's like, nope, don't need Machado. Drillers already won the championship. That's true. Dodgers Double A affiliate did win the Texas League. All right, Jake Lamb. What is this, Arthur? Two Diamondback hits for you in one break in one night. Unbelievable. Goldschmidt and then Jake Silence of the Lambs. Fava beans and a nice Chianti. When's the last time you guys seen that movie? That is not a family-friendly movie, ladies and gentlemen. So the kids, kids that are watching at home, they're like, "Oh my God, Joe, Joe makes a made a Silence of the Lambs reference." Let's let's go watch it. It's a, that is not a family-friendly movie. Is Jake Lamb a free agent? Maybe the may, hold on. Maybe the Dodgers do re-sign Manny Machado because Justin Turner is not getting any younger, and his contract's over in a couple years. Maybe they try to move Machado to third, try to convince him to move to third. Corey Seager at shortstop. Maybe the Phillies get Machado. Arthur saying Lamb not a free agent. Maybe the Phillies go after Machado. Bryce Harper, maybe? Where does Bryce Harper go? Machado isn't much of a shortstop? You've seen him play? It's a pretty good shortstop. I, th I think he... I think he projects pretty well as a shortstop. He projects even better as a third baseman, though. But he's actually a pretty solid shortstop. Whit Merrifield. Isn't Whit Merrifield a free agent? <laughs> nice, cool Whit Merrifield going to Richard Johansson and the Royals. Next box. Yeah, I don't think he, I think he is a much better third baseman as well. But to say that he isn't much of a shortstop, I think is I, I, I would I would definitely do, disagree with that. Yeah, he's, he's got a he's got a cannon for an arm.
Cody West says, if Harper signs with Cleveland, you'll fly to L.A. and buy a personal case of something. You heard it here first, folks. At 9.09 p.m. Pacific, Cody West is saying that if Harper signs with Cleveland, Actually, let's save that there. Let's go through this first. Out of 50, Bo Jackson. Some Otani as well. We've got Byron Buxton to 99. Did, wasn't that just like Boris trolling everybody though? Coyle saying apparently Harper already knows where he wants to sign. It's already done. They just can't officially say anything. I thought that was just Scott Boris trolling like the media. Walker Bueller out of 75. That's a great time to get him. He looked great in, in some big games in the postseason. Scott McNulty and a little Dodger Joe Mojo. Harper would be great, at, great in Cleveland, though, I think, in that lineup. All right, next box. All right, good luck. Oh, I see. You're saying you feel like the media alley he was talking to was small enough where he can get away with saying, well, I mean, you know, anything reported like that is going to be, is going to be like tagged and collated and, and sent out all over the place. Retweeted and blah, blah, blah. Cody West thinks Harper is a cub. Harper would be great to take over Jock Peterson. Jock Strap, TJ saying. Jock Peterson is, um, is arbitration eligible? I think they'll just ride out his last year or two of arbitration. Just if only for depth. There's Mike Piazza at a 150. I mean, what's what's Jock Peterson going to cost in arbitration? 3.75. And what did he get this season? Three and a half million? Maybe four million he gets? All right, the frame. All right, Verlander, Verlander reveals a Nicky Delmonico for the White Sox. That's for Scott McNulty. Yeah, I like Jock Peterson a lot, but... I mean, I don't know if, if the Dodgers have... <clears throat> Playoff aspirations. World Series aspirations. You know, in, in, NL, in NL games, the Red Sox were bringing guys like Jackie Bradley Jr. and like Eduardo Nunez off the bench. Or no, no, was Eduardo Nunez playing regularly? Or they were bringing Jackie Bradley Jr. off the bench. Like, that's crazy. No, I like Jock too, and I th I think he's I think to his credit he's worked a lot, uh, worked really hard on his swing and worked really hard on trying to get it to a place. But I mean, can he continue, you know, eating up a a spot on the twenty five man roster in the playoffs? Buster Posey to seventy five. I mean, these are the hard questions that the Dodgers have to start asking. You know, it can't just be. It just can't be potential and reclamation projects for the Dodgers, which often sometimes their bullpen has looked too. I think bullpen's an issue too. There's Ben Intendi, there's Francisco Mejia, and Victor Caratini for Greg and the Cubbies. Do the Cub? What does everyone think about uh, the? Uh, Bryce Harper to the Cubs. I feel like a lot of Cubs fans in the middle of the summer 
based on some Instagram comment or post that Bryce Harper made that he was a lock for Chicago. Do the Cubs want to... Do the Cubs have the money to do that? I feel like they, they're still on the hook for a lot of Jason Hayward money, right? No one's going to be taking that contract off their hands. Where would he play? Do you put him in... Where would he play? Put him in left field? Where's Kyle Schorber go? Move Kyle Schorber? You're not moving Jason Hayward unless... And, he's, and Jason Hayward's got a better glove, right? Center field, maybe? Plays in center for the Cubs. Yeah. Hmm. Alexa, show me the Cubs depth chart. Doo -doo -doo. Here's the Cubs depth chart. I have to do it by hand. Here we go. Mr. Mike's guy saying, I don't think they can. the Cubs can swing it money-wise. Camera. Oh, there we go. All right. Sorry. This is what you missed. Camera acted weird for a second there. Francisco Mejia to 150. JP Crawford to 99. Well, actually, Alexa, show me Cubs 2019 payroll commitments on COTS contracts. Hosted on the Baseball Prospectus website. Thanks, Alexa. All right, there's Freddie Freeman, Anthony Rizzo, and Lucas Sims, 39 out of 50. That goes to DMAC and the Braves. Thirty-nine out of fifty. Nice. All right. So they're still on the hook for John Lester, twenty-seven and a half million dollars. Jason Hayward getting paid twenty million bucks a season. That U Darvish contract. Although if he's healthy, it could be interesting. Yeah. Zobris twelve point five million. Tyler Chatwood twelve point five million. Anthony Rizzo still making. Eleven million dollars. Quintana's being paid ten and a half million dollars. Brandon Morrow's got nine million dollars. Their payroll is going to be probably just a tiny bit over the luxury tax threshold for 2019, which is two hundred and six million dollars. By the time they get arbitration guys and this and that all squared away, they'll already be hitting that threshold. Although they didn't exceed the pay that. That luxury tax threshold for the last couple of years, so the punishment won't be as great if they go over. So they could go over and not get penalized too much, or as much. They will get penalized, but. Derek Jeter out of 50. I can see, but I, I, I can see they'll, they'll put him in center. That's what they're going to do. If the, Cub, if the Cubs get Bryce Harper, they're not going to have Albert Elmore Jr. playing center field or Ian Happ or Jason Hayward. They'll put him in center. Behind Felix Hernandez is J.D. Davis, 49 out of 50 for the Strohs. 
Then it'll be for Scott McNulty. All right, almost done, folks. Five boxes left. Five boxes left. Got about another 10 minutes or so in this break. And then after that, I only see one order coming in. From, uh, from Anthony. Thanks, Anthony. So we'll check on that order after this break, and then we'll see uh, what direction we're going in for maybe another break tonight. TJ looking for some more Orioles, or your first Oriole, I think. We haven't hit any Orioles yet, right? Where's the one per case, Chancisco? That's got to. That guy's got to be in here. Trey Mancini, maybe stumble into. Is Cal Ripken on this checklist? Who's the big chase for the Orioles? Must be old Cal, right? Oh, right. There's Austin Hayes, too. Yeah, Cal Ripken Jr. There are... We already pulled the Relic, but there are two different autograph opportunities for Cal Ripken Jr. Nolan Arenado. I think he's going to be a free agent soon, right? Nolan Arenado this year, next year. There's Will Meyer for the Friars. DJ LeMahieu is a free agent. Dodgers could use a second baseman. I could use a DJ LeMahieu in his bat. Behind Kirsch is Tyler Maley. Gold frame autograph for John C. and the Reds. All right, four boxes to go. Good luck, everyone. It's Miguel Sano to 50. There's Andrew Benintendi to 75. We got Kershaw, Glaber Day, Glaber Torres, and Tommy Pham for the Phillies fam. That goes to Scott McNulty, one of his last spot mojo teams. Next box. Good luck, everyone. Now, once we are done with this break, we'll probably have a, I'll have a little, a little over an hour left in the broadcast. Maybe a tad bit more, depending on what's filling up. So go for jazbeescasebreaks.com and get into it. 
Oh, sorry. Did I say the wrong team? Yeah, I did. I don't know why I thought Tommy Pham was a Philly. Sorry, Scott. That's Eric and the Cardinals. Who am I thinking of then? Just making sure you're paying attention, Eric. Just making sure if you were paying attention. No, sorry about that. Uh, Alex Bregman to 99. Told you guys I was a little off today. There's Machado to 50. I don't think I had. Did I have my Wheaties this morning? No, I don't think I did. No, I think the Raiders are done dealing, Mr. Mike said. They did not have a deadline day pickup. I don't think they'd be picking up anybody. You're welcome, Eric. Just making sure if you're staying, if you're paying attention. It wouldn't have mattered anyway, to be honest with you. They go by this list. Anyway, and your name is right there. Doesn't really matter what I say. I could be like, I could say every card goes to, goes to you, and when it wouldn't, the shipping team would just go by that list. And there's Brian Dozier, Twins edition. That goes to C. Freeze and the Twins. Now, if anything, Mr. Mike said the Raiders would be selling at the deadline. They wouldn't be picking anybody up. They're sellers, and they'll be in the cellar. They got to they got to battle they got to battle the Giants. They got to battle the Giants and there's one other team that only has one win right now. Giants are 1 and 7, the Raiders are 1 and 7. And there's another team. I th I think that the Raiders will have to battle for that number 1 draft pick spot. And then I got to hope that the Dallas Cowboys can like fail the rest of the season. Niners are one and seven, right? I got, I got to make sure that the uh, cow, uh, Cowboys fail the rest of the season, so the Dod or Dodgers, so the Raiders can get a higher draft pick. Sorry, it's baseball brain. I still have baseball in the brain. Can I get the Bears to lose. Get higher picks for that Khalil Mack situation. All right, good luck, everybody. Back to the baseball. Baseball. Hot stove. I think it's going to be hot this year. There's Ozzie Smith, the wizard, going to Eric and the Cardinals. Nailed it. Nailed it this time, Eric. Got it. I know where Ozzie goes. I just, I just, it's nothing against the Cowboys. My uncle's a Cowboys fan. They're Starling Marte for the Pirates. That'll go to Steve Freeze. I've, I've, I've no, I've, a lot of people hate the Cowboys. I've, uh, I'm neutral about the Cowboys. But it's just for the fact that we have your number one overall, your number one draft, uh, first round draft pick for Amari Cooper. So unfortunately, I'll be actively rooting against you. Otherwise, I wouldn't, I'd be neutral. Sorry, Bear, sorry, Bears fans. I know we have a lot of a lot of clientele in Chicago. I'll be ro actively rooting against. Wait, I think I still took the Bears over this season for win totals. So I need the Bears to hit that win total, but then not win anymore. And that that'll work. That'll work for me. Whatever their win total was. Do I have that on hand? Okay, I, I do. I think I got the Bears over six and a half wins. So they just need to win seven wins. And they need to go seven and nine. That's what I'm looking for. That's it. Seven and nine. That'll be a perfect situation for me. That'll be a decent draft. Decent draft pick. All right, last box. Good luck, everybody. Thank you, thank you, thank you for filling this break up. There's Adam Jones out of 75. Class 1, red parallel. Donnie Baseball, 250. Don Mattingly, Shohei, Showtime. Nice 
And your final framed autograph coming up, boys and girls. It's been a pretty solid break so far. All right, there's Josh Donaldson, and behind Jose Altuve is Paul DeYoung, 35 out of 50. That'll go to Eric and the Cardinals. Cardinals, right? Yeah, Cardinals. Got it. And there you go. And there there you go, everyone. Joe for Jaspi's CaseBreaks.com. Thanks for getting in. This break is part of our trick-or-treat promo, so even if you didn't hit, ladies and gentlemen, still have a second chance at a bunch of break credit. Maybe this gold label break is the one that helps you get there. So check out all the details on jazbeescasebreaks.com, and we'll see you next time, folks. Bye-bye.